perform a bunny hop to clear that gap and lean back so that the rear wheel hits the I-beam. As you make contact, you should be leaning forward and your momentum will carry you up to the wooden box. If you get stuck, don't restart as you can recover from here. Simply roll backwards slowly until your rear wheel is right at the edge of the beam. Accelerate quickly and lean forward and you should still be able to complete this checkpoint. From a seated position, accelerate at about 60% so you land comfortably on the first pipe. Maintain your momentum and when your rear wheel hits the start of the wooden section, lean forward and transition up the ramp. The most difficult part about this obstacle is getting your front wheel up to the top where the checkpoint is and avoiding the second curve section. The best way to achieve this is as soon as you lean forward, let go of the lean for a moment and allow the front wheel to lift a little. Once you're confident that it'll clear the upper section, lean forward and you'll get to the checkpoint. While it's possible to rear wheel bounce over both, it's more consistent for most people to take it slowly. These objects are quite large, so you shouldn't have trouble here. If you perform a good bunny hop off the start, just brake when you land and apply reverse or gas as you need to regain control. To perform the second jump, roll backwards slightly to get the front wheel a little higher than the rear and while in a seated position, accelerate and lean forward. This will lift your front wheel and put you in the correct position to land on the second pipe and to continue down to the end. I'm going to teach you the fast way across this obstacle because I think it's easier than taking it slowly. From a neutral position, lean backwards and then forward while accelerating. Your goal is to only ride the ramp with your rear wheel and to get enough height so that the front wheel clears the upper pipe. Ensure you lean back quite a bit initially and as you're in the air, you may need to stop leaning briefly to ensure your front wheel doesn't dip down. Once you're over the pipe, simply roll down in a seated position Rotate backwards a little and get the wheels underneath you. Then, use throttle control to come to a stop. From here, roll backwards to get a strong run-up and accelerate while leaning backwards. When you see the front wheel lift, lean forward and this will see you over the last obstacle. Students will hopefully remember that I taught a lesson on uphill landings to prepare you for this moment. If you haven't achieved an A grade on that lesson, go back and finish that first. If for some reason you decided to skip the in-game lessons and come to YouTube instead, I'll say it again. Perform a bunny hop, then rotate in the air so that your wheels land at about the same time. Make sure the rear wheel is down and briefly lean forward and apply gas. You'll notice the bike bounce up, and when that happens, let go of everything. Stop leaning and don't apply gas. Only when your bike hits the ramp again do you lean forward and gently apply the gas. If your rear wheel loses contact with... Actually, do you know what? Just go back and watch the uphill landings lesson again. It's in the game. I made it. Just go and watch that thing. If you stick it, accelerate up the ramp and you're done. Perform a bunny hop and when in the air, rotate backwards slightly to land on your rear wheel first. This bunny hop has to be big enough so that you clear the yellow and black striped tape. Remain in a seated position and continue to apply the gas and you should ride up the other side. 
Adjust your leaning if required and ease off the gas if you start rotating backwards on the upper section. The last thing to do is to lean forward once you're at the top and you should be able to get to the next checkpoint. This checkpoint requires a couple of consecutive bunny hops after the first gap. From a seated position, accelerate and lean back so you land slightly earlier on your front wheel. Continue to accelerate throughout as you'll link all of these together. As the load increases on the rear suspension and you start to bounce back up, lean forward to perform each jump. Timing it so you only jump when the bike starts to bounce back up is the key. Repeat this and you should reach the end. One thing to note is that the last section has a small ramp, so while the technique is largely the same, be careful to transition at the appropriate time to smoothly jump that ramp. And you may have to lean forward a little more to avoid your rear wheel colliding with the fence. To perform this consistently, simply lean forward at the start, then accelerate up the ramp. Normally, leaning forward at the base is not ideal and it's not something I'd teach you, but in this situation, it lifts the front wheel just enough that it makes it a consistent method to use. All you need to do then is to let go of the throttle when you reach the top of the jump and lean forward to complete it. Just remember to sit back on the bike at the end to lift the rear wheel. From a neutral position, lean back then forward to perform a bunny hop and lean forward for enough time to ensure your rear wheel avoids the explosives. Once you've cleared them, lean back again and adjust your riding position to land safely on the other side. From a seated position, lean back through the transition to lessen the impact on the front wheel, then immediately lean forward. Only lean forward when your rear wheel is close to the vertical section. Importantly, you'll start to accelerate at 100%. However, as you lean forward, ease off the gas to only about 30%. This slowing down will help you get to the upper section rather than propelling yourself straight up. When you're in the air, sit back on the bike and rotate so that your wheels are at the same angle as the ramp. As you're about to land, quickly lean forward and apply the gas. By slamming your rear wheel into the ramp, it allows you to get better grip. And as long as you apply just enough power to climb the ramp without flipping backwards, you'll get to the next checkpoint. From a neutral position, accelerate at 100%. Just as you're about to hit the ramp, lean backwards to maximize your body weight over the rear suspension. Hold this position until the bike bounces up and when it starts to, lean forward. If you time your body weight shifts with the bounce of the bike, it'll generate enough lift to clear the barrel that's halfway up the ramp. Once you're over this barrel, release all controls for a moment and allow the bike to fall back to the track. Adjust your rotation to get the wheels aligned to the ramp and lean forward when your rear wheel makes contact. Apply enough gas when you land to control yourself from rolling backwards and once steady, accelerate onto the next checkpoint. Lean forward from the start and accelerate at about 50% to hit the lower ramp. Sit back on the bike when landing and continue to accelerate while gently leaning backwards. 
Remain in that position until you launch yourself into the air, and you'll then want to lean backwards so the rear wheel hits the vertical section of the object, but also ensure you're leaning over the handlebars. Getting into this position will ensure that when your rear wheel hits, your momentum will carry you over the edge and to the finish line. So hopefully you found that useful, and if you've got any suggestions or questions or anything you want to discuss, leave some notes in the comments and I'm happy to address them later on. What I'm going to do now is actually play through a replay that I did while I was recording this tutorial, just so you get a feel for not only how I approach the different techniques, but how I've linked some of them together, because that's one of the, the evolutions of this, right? My, my tutorials are about getting you to just pass each checkpoint one by one. But as your skills progress, what you really need to start doing is transitioning from one jump to the other, connecting those lines, planning your landing so you're in the right you know, bike and body position to enable you to connect the next jump and to be in the right spot to continue, uh, to continue on. That's really where this game gets fun. So uh, yeah, watch the rest of this, let me know what you like, and uh, if you want any other videos or any uh, guidance on any parts of the game, let me know. Thanks.